When I heard there was a new season of America's Next Top Model, like most people, I immediately question what new thing Tyra is trying to sell. Because, as we all know, the only point of America's Next Top Model is for Tyra Banks to sell things. The boss babe herself, Tyra, is pushing an app. ANTM the game. Now, this game is in beta. They've been advertising it on the show, but it is in beta. I recognize that nothing is built overnight. Nothing is released perfect. So I'm not going to be doing a grocery list of every single thing that's wrong with this game. However, I am going to be realistic about how it plays, what it's like, and I have to be upfront. If you haven't seen my video about Tyra's failed businesses, you should really watch it because I don't think there's any human being on the planet that is as qualified to go into this game to the level of detail that I'm going to. So let's do this. It's going to be a lot of fun. That age selector page really messed me up and I can't go back to it no matter how hard I try. So I'm just going to pick a silhouette for the lady and go along with that. As many of you know, I just moved from New York City to St. Louis back to my parents' house. And it's been really difficult and I'm really excited this game will help me take my mind off of things. Never mind. It's like the game sensed that I was going to be critical of it, so it had to be aggressive to me first. Well played, Tyra. Well played. I'm going to use my insider Brooklyn real estate knowledge to tell you that that giant purple bed has to be that big for all three of these people to sleep in it because this apartment is way out of their price range. You see, this game is already unrealistic because one of the first objectives is leave the apartment. And in real life, you just never leave the apartment because of the crippling anxiety. I was wrong, they're not in Brooklyn. They're actually in the Village or Chelsea, which is cool, I like Google, but they definitely can't afford it. We're gonna talk about the geography of this maybe sometime eventually, but just know that it's really wrong and that's important, but not, it's actually not important. We'll never talk about it. And also, why are you paying every time you use the subway? If you live in New York City, you're gonna buy an unlimited Metro Pass. This makes no sense. I'm gonna die on that hill, let's play the game. Before we get too deep into it, I want you to envision what you think an America's Next Top Model game would feature, right? You want lots of Tyra, you want some time suck mini games, you want to be able to really dress up your character, and you want lots of modeling, posing, styling, that type of mini game, right? Think about everything you would want out of this game. The meat of this game is Fulfilling the quests. The quests are listed in that ugly white box and There are things like talk to people do the go see do the activity and the gameplay is pretty much clicking on bubbles and That's all of the fun of the game is clicking on bubbles, but it's not like fun bubbles like you're popping the bubbles It's just pressing the right button enough times is the core gameplay mechanic Oh man, that's in-game Tyra. And this makes me all the more excited because one of the prizes for winning America's Next Top Model this season, Cycle 24, is a feature avatar on the new ANTM mobile game. That's right, that's a prize. Oh no, Tyra mentioned the tie over. Time to cue up that clip from that video I did about Tyra's failed businesses. In my opinion, a tie over, which is a makeover done on America's Next Top Model, is a less desirable version of a makeover. We're just gonna go in our little memory machine right now. Recall some famous tie overs in history. Like, remember that time on America's Next Top Model where the tie over was literally shaving a gap into a girl's two front teeth. Now that you've been adequately reminded of what a tie over is, let's get to what should arguably be the most fun part of this game. I love dress up games. I played Virtual Popstar for a while, which is just a elaborate pixel doll dress up game. This should be the easiest thing on the entire world to master. I love dress up games. I was born in 1992. Anyone who is a child, any person who likes to dress up dolls that was a child during the 90s and got the internet in the early 2000s should love this. This should be the easiest thing to master in your game. And 
I'm not going to say that everything about this is wrong. I'm just saying it could be so much better. Every dollar that's spent on this game should be spent on modeling mini games and the wardrobe feature. There should be so many clothing suggestions. It should be so easy to customize your avatar. Every cent of the budget should be going towards this feature. This should be making all of the money for the game. Forget monetizing energy. Forget all of that. It should all be about dressing your avatar. That's it. Tyra, I just gave you the game. That, that's what you need. Make this game about the wardrobe and fix the wardrobe. The things about this wardrobe that need fixing are how far spaced out the articles of clothing are from one another, how few of them are displayed, how hard it is to save a look, and the way that they render on the character. Those are all pretty core features that need to be worked out, as well as how everything is organized. When you're scrolling through clothing suggestions, you'll see all these clothes that are locked, and then you'll see clothes that are available. There should be some kind of way to go through the catalog and see all the clothes that you have currently available, and if you would like, see the clothes that are unavailable or have them grayed out. Just have them segmented in a way that going through this library makes some sort of sense. That's my recommendation there. And this, sh this should be a core game mechanic. Instead of the mini games being featured on stuff you can control, it's a lot of clicking on these pose two times, elongate neck three times, which kind of takes the control out of your hands. And when you do those things, when you fill those bars, it gives you points that you then have to click on, but if they fall behind something, then you can't click on them and you can't collect those boons. That's a little bit frustrating and it's also not fun. Like the core game mechanic should be a fun activity that you want to do already without it being something that gives you benefits, but the fact that it gives you benefits makes you like the game. Playing this game reminds me of Uncanny Valley in the sense that when a robot is close to being human, but it's not quite there, it's uncanny and it's uncomfortable to deal with. This app, this game is uncomfortable because it's close to being a game that makes sense. It's uncomfortably close to being a game that was well executed. And that's mean to say, but it kind of feels like the developers had a vague idea of what they wanted and then they didn't do any research on how other games accomplish those goals. Like, I'm not saying that I play a lot of mobile games, but I kind of play a lot of mobile games, and I feel like if this game was supposed to compete with Kim Kardashian or Heyday or Animal Crossing, then it would be made a lot better. And that the core gameplay mechanics are really lacking, and this user interface doesn't make any sense, and if you try to access the privacy menu, you can't. This is pretty much all the game is so far from what I could tell. I've spent about 45 minutes playing this game. Your energy runs out and it regenerates every 15 minutes. And so there's only about 15 minutes worth of content to play at a time. And a lot of it is waiting. So this is pretty much everything I could see of the game. There are some people that are crazy high up on the high score list and I cannot fathom that. However, I do have a theory to why this game is so disjointed. Recall Model Land. Model Land was a book that Tyra Banks wrote, and it was supposed to be the first part in a trilogy. However, it did terrible. It, the reviews were awful. I've read it. You should not read it, but I've read it multiple times, and it's not a good book. It does not deserve a follow-up. It probably will not get it. My theory is that this game was supposed to be the second installment of Model Land. Tyra has hinted that the second installment of Model Land would be experiential and that it would be coming out in early 2018. 
We are in early 2018, and this is an app that Tyra is putting her weight behind. My theory is that she was sold in that if she came back to America's Next Top Model, if she got the deal to work, that there would be an app for her. And she was hoping that app would be for Model Land. However, Model Land didn't pan out. And this is close enough that it could be justified to make this instead of Model Land the game. Which I think is a shame. I would love to play Model Land the game. But I'm going to play the heck out of this because it's what's in front of me. And if we know one thing about Tyra, it's that she jumps off of ships when they're sinking. For me, it's 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 being on the pulse and, 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 and still feeling hot enough where, and I don't mean like hot, I mean, you know, hot, I mean, in the other world I meant that. But no, but it's, it's, it's having a sense of that hotness, but it's cooling a bit, mm -hmm. but the outside doesn't know it yet. So you better play this game while it's out because it's not going to be around for very long. But hey, that's just a Tyra theory. Thanks for watching. But anyways, so that's pretty much all that there's to this game right now. I'm going to keep playing it, and I'll keep you guys updated if anything really changes about it. It is in beta, so there's a lot going on that they have to update and work with, and I'm excited in seeing the iterations. I know I come across as harsh sometimes, calling it uncanny valley and almost good. However, I do see where it's going and I have a lot of hope for it. I love Tyra Banks so much. So I'm going to keep playing this. I love watching America's Next Top Model. This isn't really usually the type of game that I play on this channel. I usually play Neopets and Flight Rising. So if you like those things, go ahead and check out those videos. Uh, and I hope you guys liked this. Sorry about the recent hiatus. Like I said at the top of the video, I moved from New York City to St. Louis. Hey yo, what a good life I live. I'm really excited to be here. I'm excited to make videos. I'm excited to live and work in St. Louis, Missouri. And you're going to see a lot of it. Okay, I uh, hope you guys are having a great time, the best life. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.